Hey guys, so today we're going to uh, do a photo V car, but in, in, instead of wood, uh, we're going to put it into a piece of acrylic or epoxy. So uh, right here I have with me a, a uh, just a white epoxy board that I put on just top of a piece of plywood. You know, no big deal. Uh, so I just poured some about two quarts of epoxy on top of this uh, piece of plywood, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to V carve it with a 60 degree bit and uh, a carb into this board and then we'll pour black epoxy um, instead of spray painting it. And so the look I want to get is hopefully I have a really nice modern finish um, and instead, of a, instead of a wooden medium, I'm just using epoxy and I, and I hope it works. So uh, I'll take you through all the steps. I'll show you how I programmed it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna fly cut this, uh, V-carb it, pour, pour the black epoxy into it and then fly cut it again after the epoxy dries. And hopefully we'll have a picture, a really good picture of Steve Jobs um, as the end result. So uh, just bear with me and hope to follow along. Thank you. Alrighty guys, so let's see if we can program this Steve Jobs photo. So I'm using Aspire, uh, one of the newer versions of Aspire. It looks like there's a new version available, version 10.5, but I'm using 10.022. Uh, this is also, you can use uh, VCarve Pro as well, so no big deal. Um, this isn't really specific to Aspire itself. I'm just going to set my width to 24 inches, as wide as my material. Uh, F9 it. And then I'll show you my settings. So my settings on Photo VCarve are going to be exactly the same as I did on John Wayne. Uh, on John Wayne specifically, I did 100% density. 0.07 max carving depth with a 60 degree v-bit but for this one since I'm not using wood I'm using um, epoxy I'm probably gonna go at 90% um, just notice that this thing only goes to hundred percent but you can actually type in 90% or 10% or whatever you want right so um, just know that I'm, I'm probably gonna go 90% on this particular photo but on a John Wayne I, I went at hundred percent so I'm just going to set this to 90%. And then I'm using a 0.07 max carving depth, 0.1 step of retract. I'll let you see all my settings for this bit. Um, I think I can run it a little bit faster, but that's not a big deal. So if you any settings you need to see, it's all available right there. And I'm doing it at a 45 degree line angle, 90% density, and I'm going to run it. Um, I don't like to use color too much in here because it, it messes me up and I think it's going to be really ugly. But if you take off the color, um, you can kind of go to an angle and get a different feel for it. So uh, this is what it's going to look like. It should be good. I'm excited. That's it. That's all you have to do. And I'm good to save. Uh, it looks like it's going to be about 42 minutes long um, on my CNC. So 42 minutes long uh, for a 2 foot by 30 inch photo, that, that's not too bad. Alright guys, this came out incredible. The level of detail is just ridiculous. So like you can see the hair follicles, the lenses around the eyes, the ring on his finger. It is just 
I mean, ridiculous a level of detail um, that this photo is able to get to. Now, you know, with, with this epoxy, I think the level of detail is far superior to wood, but wood is still the best medium for a uh, photo V car, as doing this was extremely difficult um, and you could not be off any. Um, but with that being said, now all I have to do is just cut this out, I'm put it in a frame, put a clear coat over it, and then I'm done. So this thing came out ridiculously good. I'm super stoked. And I can't wait to make some more videos of um, some different things. So my goal with this channel is to try to bring the youth back into woodworking. So give the video a like, uh, become a subscriber, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.